Hi, I'm David from uh, Seattle Academy of Electric Teaching, and I'm doing a uh, video here on how to solve for a variable using the distribution property. I'm also going to be collecting light terms and some other um, uh, uh, properties in, within the basic mathematics. So when we solve, we want to get down to x equals. Sometimes people forget when solving that we want to get down to what x value. What x value will make this sentence or this statement true? What, what, what x value will make each side be equal to each other? Okay, and to solve this, we're going to do a couple big steps here. We're going to do a distribution step. This is called what I like to say negative distribution. Negative distribution. I put a word negative distribution on it, but uh, because sometimes this is a place where students forget that the negative sign does change, does change every single sign in it. This is saying opposite of each term inside the parentheses. So opposite of 2x, a negative 2x is a positive 2x. Opposite or negative times a 3 is a negative 3. A positive 3 there would be a negative 3. Over here a negative 5, so this is like negative distribution, but I'm also distributing um, a value as well. So I'm multiplying a negative 5 to each term. Terms are separated by plus or minus signs. There are two terms in there, so I should be getting two terms out. Negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25. A negative 5 times a negative 7x, that is a positive 35x. A positive 35x. So this is what I'm doing with, this is the negative distribution step that I've just done. I'm going to collect like terms now. Collect like terms. As, you, as I just said, terms are the things that are separated by pluses and minus. And I often just look at them as collecting them on the same side as the, as the equal sign and get the constants on the same side as the equal sign. And the variables, I will want to move to the other side. So this is an example of how I'm thinking about where these things need to go. If you look inside your textbook, your textbook will suggest things like subtracting 2x from both sides. If you're in um, some other different types of uh, learning environments, they might say when you move, the, move a term across an equal sign, it changes the sign. So that's another way to look at it. So if I move the 25 over to the other side, then it's a minus 25 on the other side. Sorry about that. Let me get that off there. Okay, and then what we have left is on this side, no 2x, a negative 28, and on the other side over here, we're going to have 33x. The last thing I want to do is get rid of the multiplier of 33. What is the undoing of something multiplied by 33? We want to divide by 33. We want to divide by 33. If you were to look inside the textbook, you probably see something that looks like this where they divide each side by 33, okay? That makes a 1, and 1 times x is x, so we have isolated x. We have x by itself. Many times, too many times, I might say, students will take out a calculator and give me a decimal approximation. When you're in math class, you want to have a reduced fraction answer almost all the time. So all I'm going to do is make sure that there are no factors that are common here. We got 7 times 4 in the top and 3 times, 30, uh, three times 11 on the bottom. So there are no, no common factors here, and we have finished. Okay? That means if x is this fraction and I plug it back into the main equation, then both sides would be equal to each other. I'm David from Electric Teaching and Seattle Academy. I hope that this has helped. Thank you for watching.